So let's check out Nick's OS. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today I wanted to explore Nix OS, which is a groundbreaking Linux distribution known for its novel approach to package management and system configuration. So join me as I uncover the history and the features that set Nix OS apart in the Linux universe. Let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. So NixOS originated as a research project in 2000 and has evolved into a distinctive Linux distribution with this biannual releases and unique version naming convention. Now, unlike traditional Linux distributions, NixOS doesn't adhere to the Linux standard base for file system structure. Its architecture is built around the Nix package manager, which ensures each package is stored in isolation, which enhances the system consistency and reliability. Now let's hop over to the Nix OS website so we can check out a little bit more about it. All right, so I'm at nixos.org and this is where you can get the operating system. Now, some of the key features of NixOS include its declarative configuration model, enabling users to specify their entire system state. And this is including packages and system settings. And you can do all this within one single configuration file. And this approach contrasts with conventional distributions where changes are often manual and untracked. And NixOS also offers atomic upgrades and rollbacks, ensuring system consistency, even if updates are interrupted and the system configurations are reproducible, making it easy to replicate a setup on another machine. Now with these features, NixOS stands out for its robustness, offering reliable upgrades, system consistency, and user-friendly platform for both developers and enthusiasts. So let me show you guys how to get it downloaded all right fast. All we have to do is go back up to the top. There's a download link and let's just walk through it right fast. You got multiple ways of getting the ISO. And there's a Linux version. So if we scroll down here, we can get the graphical ISO, which includes a GNOME version and a KDE version. And you can also download the SHA-256 just to verify that you're getting it from the correct source. And then they also have a ORM version of each one of those desktop environments. Now, they also have a minimal ISO install. You can download that as well. And they also have an ORM version of that as well. They also have a VirtualBox version. So you download that and import it. And then also another cool thing, Amazon EC2. And you can get this done via the command line. All you have to do is choose your region, which doesn't allow you to, but you could change it here if you need to. You could just change the region there. And then also on the more there are older releases, you can download the, those if you need to, but there's no need to probably go back to those old releases. But if you go back up here, you got your Mac OS and then you got your Windows, which you can get it installed on the Windows subsystem Linux and then Docker as well. So they got instructions on how to get it set up using Docker. But we only gonna focus on the Linux version. And like I said, I'm gonna download the ISO for GNOME and we'll get this thing installed. But before we get over to my virtual machine, I wanna show you guys where to get help. So if we go under learn the first steps of Nix. And when you go over here to the first steps, this is where all the tutorials and documentation of the system is. So nix.dev, that's where you can go through and look at all their documentation. And it's very detailed. It breaks out how to do a lot of things within the operating system. And if we go under guides, this is how Nix works. So this breaks out how it actually works. If you guys wanna get a little bit more information, but let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so we can get this thing installed. All right, so I'm booted up in the live ISO. And as you can see, it automatically pulls up the installer. And if this doesn't look familiar to you, it is the Calamaris installer, which is a very 
easy installer to do for a operating system i'm kind of glad that they use it it's good for new users it kind of walks through the process in a very simple fashion and you you shouldn't run into any issues when using the calamaris installer so i'm gonna quickly run through it because i want to get to the desktop environment so i can show you guys a little bit more of how to get nick set up if this is your first time installing it but let's check out the version of calamaris is 3.2.62 so let's go ahead and press ok and get to the installer so the first thing is our language and it already has american english selected so i'm gonna hit next and then it pulled up my location so i'm on the west coast so i use the los angeles just pick your region and zone that's for you so let's go ahead and hit next there here is the keyboard layout. So let's go to hit next there, set up our user account and I'm gonna just name mine Josh and then set up a super strong password, type it in twice and then require strong passwords. That's checked, which is good. And then uh, log in automatically without asking for the password. I never checked that. And if it's checked, I uncheck it. And that's just good practice in my opinion now use the same password for the administrator account i'll check that let's go down hit next there now you can select your desktop environment this is the gnome installer it uses the gnome desktop for the installer for the live iso but you can select whatever desktop environment you want and they have a couple on here they have gnome plasma xfce pantheon cinnamon mate enlightenment lxqt budgie deepen and then you can also go with no desktop environment which i don't recommend unless you are a little bit of a seasoned linux user so let's go to hit next there i'm gonna roll with gnome which is the default and let's roll with that now this is one cool thing within this installer uh, you can keep nix os fully open source you have that option here now you can also select and allow unfree software to be installed on the operating system you just have to go through and install it you know what i'm saying once you allow it you know by checking that box but you can keep it fully open source which i'm gonna do that this virtual machine is gonna get destroyed after this but I just want to point this out to you guys. You know, this is basically the end user license and all that stuff to get unfree software on here. So let's go down here next. I'm gonna use it fully open source. Now, set up our partitions, boom, erase the disk and install the operating system. Essentially, you set up the partition table, all that good stuff. Now you have the option for no swap, swap, no hibernate and swap hibernate. I'm gonna do swap hibernate just because it doesn't matter like i said with this system and typically what i do on systems that i'm going to use long term i do a manual partition because i like to separate my home directory from the operating system so that's one of the things i typically do but i'm just doing this for the tutorial purpose just to make it super simple but we have encrypt the system you can encrypt the operating system if you want to it'll ask you for a password every time you boot up the system but just want to show you guys that it, you do have that option and then your bootloader location down here at the bottom typical it's typically on the first drive so let's go on hit next and here is the summary and this is basically all the selections that we made throughout the installer and then we can go through and install and of course i'll be back when this finishes all right so the installation is complete and all we have to do is hit the button right here that says restart now and then hit done and it'll restart the system so let's go down and uh do that and then i'll be back when it comes back up all right we're logged into our new install of nix os and as you can see it comes with gnome 45 you can take the tour that was just basically show you gnome and you can go through and get everything set up so you got an overview of how everything works like your search basically it's just basically gonna go through everything dealing with gnome all the new features of gnome 45 and you guys have seen me do videos showing you guys gnome 45 but let's go down and fix our display right fast i always like to fix that first so you guys can see the screen a little properly let's keep changes go down and close it so this is nix os and so one of the first things i want to show you guys is how to update the system that's most likely your first question and you're probably trying to figure that out you know you're looking through the documentation but let's walk through a couple things right fast so let's open up the terminal let's make it a little bigger and let's go through the process of updating the system and the first thing you want to do is check for updates and that's with any distro so the command is nix channel so just want to walk you guys through that so nix dash channel and then dash dash updates and that's how you update nix os or check for updates and then let's say you want to install 
all the updates on the system let me show you guys that right fast and you don't need sudo for the nix channel up at the top but you need sudo for the nix os rebuild so nix os dash rebuild and then switch and basically what it's going to do is rebuild the operating system totally and then dash dash upgrades and this will rebuild with all the new changes so let's go down and press enter it's going to ask us for our sudo password so let's go ahead and type that in and then let it go through the process it'll update the channel again or verify and then run any upgrades on the system and rebuild the system from there and it sometimes take a little time so and it all depends on what all you have on the system and i'll show you guys the configuration for nix you know what i'm saying that'll be the next thing i show you guys so you can make changes to your operating system based on what you want and then you can store this file you can create like a github repository upload this configuration file you know to store it and then you can move it over to other operating systems and then rebuild your system and it'll get it set up based on the way you set it up on a on another operating system that's nix space and as you can see our updates are done and so let me show you guys a little bit more just some normal stuff of the operating system let's clear all right fast go back up to the top and run a u name uh and one of the first things i want to do is actually change the terminal but i'm not going to do it on camera but I'm, I'm gonna i always play around with these systems for like at least a week you know just constantly every day i'll play around with the system try to see if i can learn it you know 100 percent and go through certain things on the system to get it configured the way i want it and then delete the virtual machine i don't always delete it right away a lot of times when it's an interesting operating system i play around with it for at least a week so i can get a good understanding in case people have questions that they ask me about the operating system that i may have not covered in the video but let's run a u name let's see what kernel we got and we got the 6.1.64 kernel on this release of nix os now let's get into the configuration this configuration file is stored under etc so let's go in here let's run let's use nano nano comes on here by default uh so that's a good thing to see you ain't got to install nano it's a lot of tools that are not on here by default and you just have to install them but nano is installed so we use nano and then our etc directory and then nix os and i'm gonna tab it out so you guys can see tab it out so nix os and then there is a configuration file dot nix in here and this is your main configuration file it's how you can make all your changes to the system basically and i'll just read the top of it right fast because i know you guys are probably having a tough time seeing this but it says edit this configuration file to define what will be installed on your system and help is available in a config.nix man page and in the nix os manual so definitely check out the manual for this but i just kind of quickly go through as much as i can see it just breaks down the bootloader pretty much everything is defined networking one one thing right up in here you got your host name so this is how you define your host name of the system so if you want to make changes it ain't that like in ubuntu was the host name ctl command or whatever it is over there on ubuntu you basically go into this configuration file and you can make changes to it like i'm gonna just let's just change it to i don't know nx os so let's let's keep that there and then we can go in and modify any any and everything you can think of like networking is on so network manager is enabled time zone let's see what else we got in here so international properties if you need it x11 so this is the window manager i think we got gnome desktop so that's running display manager you know the gnome desktop environment x11 cups and you'll see you can kind of see i know this is hard to see because it's in like white and i i want to go in and change this i'm really wanting to change this but i'm gonna just see how the video comes out hopefully you guys can see it but yeah, you can go through and change kind of like any and everything. Like they got the sound enabled. Let's see, security, rootkits, pipe wire, ALSA. Let's see what else we got in here. So user, so the user is defined here. You can make changes to that if you want to. Well, nah, you wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything to our system. But as you can see, we get in groups here as well. So we're in the network manager group, the will group, as far as that, that account, Josh. So all that's defined here. We got Firefox, that package is installed and you can add more packages here. So, and then also let's see system profile. But one other thing I was gonna talk about the services, you can see the services down here. So you got enable SSH, 
there we go so ssh is not enabled at the moment so i'm gonna just leave that alone but i'm gonna just leave it leave it the way it is but then your firewall you can open up ports for the firewall here these value determine nix os release so just don't mess with that the system state version you don't want to mess with that but yeah you got your services up in here you know like ssh and the firewall server all that managed up in here and so let's go on and close out our file i'm gonna say those changes all i did was made changes to the host name so let's go on and press y to save it boom write that file out so we made changes to it and then now we have to apply those changes because as you can see it's still nix os that's the you know host name for the system and in order to apply those changes we have to run that sudo nix rebuild and so let's run that right fast so nix os dash rebuild and then switch and let's go down and press enter and then i'll go through and build out our system for us and i'll be back when this finishes and i don't think you guys knew but it didn't take too long i thought it may have taken a little longer but let's go down and exit out the terminal let's see if it if i need to do a reboot in order to see it so let's open it back up yeah i probably have to do a reboot so let me do a quick reboot and i'll be right back all right so i'm back in it let's go down and open up the terminal and see if it it took our changes yeah as you can see, I know you probably can't see this. I hope you can, but it's basically NX OS now instead of Nix OS. And then up here at the top, you can see it up here as well in the terminal window. So NX. All right, now let me show you guys how to install something right fast. After showing you guys how to update it, make changes to the configuration. I want to show you guys how to install a specific application. And let's play around with, let's say, HTOP. That's an application that you may want to see. But if you type in HTOP, it'll tell you what to type right there. The program HTOP is not in your path. It is probably, it is provided by several packages. So let's go on there uh, and it'll give you some examples there. But let me show you guys how to install it. I'm gonna show it, show you guys using the Nix environment. So command. So if we type Nix dash env and then dash i for install and then capital a for using the nix os channel and that's that's one thing about it you got to use a specific channel so nix os we want to use that nix os channel and let's install htop so i can't remember if i got to use sudo or not let's see installing this path was fetched and so we are good to go and so let's go down and open up htop so htop command boom there we go so we got htop installed so that's the simplest way to install things on nixos and i just wanted to at least give you guys some of the basics of how to use it because it's a different operating system from what i've shown on the channel i typically show you Ubuntu stuff or rocky linux or rail or Arch Linux or something like that. And I never really mess around with other operating systems that use like different package managers or different ways of installing software on it. And so, like I said, Nix is an interesting distro and I think you guys should check it out. So thanks for joining me today through this quick journey of Nix OS. And I tried to cover its unique history to the architectural strengths. It's clear that NixOS is more than just another Linux distro. It's a forward thinking platform offering reproducibility and comprehensive package management system. And so for more insight and to start your Nix adventure, go on and visit the Nix or download that ISO, get it installed in a virtual machine and play around with it so you can experience this linux distro that's super different from any other now thanks for tuning in and if you enjoyed this review go ahead and hit that like button subscribe you know for more linux distros and videos dealing with linux software and also if you can go down and share your thoughts down below so i catch you in the next one and keep it techie